capo. Hello, my Sagittarian friends. It's Guiding Halo. This is going to be a reading for what spirit wants you to know. Okay. This will be for October 6th to the end of October, October 31st. Prosperity. Focus on the positive and more good will come. Give thanks for blessings and they will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. <clears throat> so if someone's been having negative thoughts about whether they'll ever have the abundance they seek or not, this is the divine's way of helping you learn, helping you head towards the abundance you seek. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. So, really and truly about getting on board with what it is you desire. And how about how you're going to go about creating that for yourself. <clears throat> this very much reminds me of the uh, Hermit card here. So, someone could definitely be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody who's, if not a Virgo, even could just be a wise old soul looking for more wisdom. There's so many different parts of this person and you're going on a pilgrimage to find out what part it is that you want to embrace for yourself, my Sagittarian friends. What does the next part of this journey entail for you? That's the question. And you're hoping <clears throat> it involves prosperity. So focus on the positive and more good will come. Give thanks for blessings and they will multiply. Yep, someone wants to start a new line of manifestation for yourself, huh? You've taken that leap of faith and you have everything in your arsenal to start this new thing. To head on this new journey, this new trajectory you're on. Could be about love. Maybe someone's decided or partnership in business. Someone's decided to go about partnership in some way, shape or form. If not partnership, could be, well, it's partnership in some way, shape, or form. Whether love, whether business, whether something, you don't feel like you can go it alone anymore, but you're very guarded about doing that. It's almost like you feel like you won't be as prosperous or you'll have to share the funds. But in reality, <clears throat> in reality, what? Yeah, in reality, that's a mindset someone needs to let go of. There's plenty enough for everybody to go around and there's going to be communication about this. It's something you've wanted to do possibly for a long time. Something you need to let go of in, a, in your idea of what prosperity is for you and how, about your, and how you're going to go about bringing it to yourself. But you're very guarded about letting someone into your life even though you'd like to start this new uh, trajectory in, of prosperity into your life with a creative endeavor you're not sure how to go about it and you've dealt with like I said this mentality for quite a while now you could be dealing with a Capricorn in some way shape or form as well and you're very conflicted <clears throat> as to whether to involve more or to go it alone whether to go and get a job that uses these passions or to start your own business or what to do. You're not sure what journey you're on next. Sagittarian energy, someone coming in fast with their opinions out of this conflict that very much, you know, has something to say in a very fast way. It seems to me that you're excited about something or this person is excited about something. Or you were excited about something and told somebody and it caused conflict by what they said. Yet again, could be dealing with a Capricorn or Earth energy. We have the inflow of abundance here. Communication. This Earth energy could be coming in to communicate with you 
or you're going in to communicate with them about creating a brand new start in finance, financial abundance. It's there's that uh, partnership I was talking about with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. <clears throat> Very much looking at building a solid, grounding, grounded uh, home business for yourself. And we all know that we're on a journey, right? Asking the divine for clarity on which way to move here, which way to go. Someone's coming in to make with something to say that's going to make you emotional. Or they're taking their cup and they're heading out on a different project. And perhaps it's left you all up in confusion. So you're hanging yourself upside down asking the divine how to move forward. We're all on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. So now we have the divine stepping in or someone making a decision to do just that and the divine working in behind the scenes to bring something about. Something you thought was dead and gone perhaps. Something you had planned with somebody and there was a conflict so it went, went awry. This could be in love or business. <clears throat> Using your intuition. Even though you're setting out on this new line of trajectory for yourself and you understand it's all a journey, <clears throat> you're still holding on tight. Tight to the way things used to be. Tight to tight to what you had thought was going to transpire previously. Holding on tight to even the dream of moving forward by yourself. You've been putting one foot in front of the other, just doing your due diligence in life, and the Wheel of Fortune spins, adding a very lucky time. And I don't know that anybody sees it coming. We have the Ace of Wands here, a very passionate offer, start of a new business, new career. It's a new endeavor. It takes you for the long haul, my friends. Absolutely. I hope you all can see the cards all right. I'm in a different place. I'm house sitting right now, so it actually might be take me a few times to get this set up the way it needs to be. <clears throat> all right, just a minute here as I lift this up some. There we go. That's better. All right. Now let's see what combines this with this, shall we? What combines the two? <clears throat> What's the ultimate energy going over here on the left? What's the ultimate thing here? Tell me. The nine of air. Yeah, all up in your head about what to do. Expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. Focus on the positive. More good will come. Give thanks for the blessings and they will multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. So if someone's all up feeling like this, prosperity is not very close at hand. You need to come out of this energy. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious, the page of error, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. Truth delivered without tact and someone heading off in a trajectory, it's like they're hopping on their steed and trotting off, taking their cup of emotion in themselves elsewhere. And it's a change of trajectory and the divine's asking you to use your intuition where this is concerned because you're still holding on tight. <clears throat> There's been a brief pause in action while you put the work in, done your thing, possibly seven months, waiting for harvest time to come. And what happens? The wheel of fortune spins in your favor because of your due diligence and your hard work and a passionate offer is brought your way. And then what happens? Oh, there we go. Well, I just got double confirmation here, but I dropped it on the ground. So I think you might be thinking about dropping something altogether and heading in a new trajectory. Absolutely, but I don't think you should. Well, uh, who am I to say? But we have uh, the magician here, and the magician is the card I dropped on the floor. You are ready. You have the resources, the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. That's why I don't think you should. All right, let's get best advice from the angels for my Sagittarian friends, please. Best advice from the angels. 
You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. <clears throat> Selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life-giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness for someone for no other reason than an, as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly and generous a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles, seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows, and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it, and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You may have to receive, not just give. We love you so very much over here. So this offer here, someone could be bringing this offer that's totally going to change your trajectory and you're going to have to step into using your intuition because you're still holding on to past ideas about what this temporary pause is about. And we have, uh, you know, when you've been putting in the work, doing the journey, just going on the journey, we have a fortune spins and a new offer is brought your way. Blessings to you, and I hope you have a great rest of your month.